What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Vegas Golden Knights. Picking up where we left off. 7, 12, and 4 looking like our franchise Sonics might not be getting the job done. We should maybe start doing that rebuild. So I am I am definitely going to do that. I'll make one. I'll make, there's, we're going to be spread out some of these trades. I'll make it a bit like... Uh, Sort of realistic. We're going to spread out some of these trades. So we're going to make one trade now that uh, I did. Okay, so someone said I messed up and didn't do the then didn't download the roster update. Well, I did. I just checked. I got the most current roster update and even with some of my changes in it. And um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I. it's just Vanek, what, for some reason, on that roster update wasn't on it. Or maybe when I edited the rosters, I edited the last ones. But uh, it's not, like, that's, like, the one only thing I found about that. So um, I'm just going to trade Vanek to Vancouver. We'll get a little something from him. So apologies if... They don't even want Vanek. <laughs> They're like, no, we don't want Vanek. What are you talking about? Well, they're going to take Vanek. So we're going to get Vanek. Uh, we're going to give him Vanek for a little bit of something here. Definitely can't get a first. Although, and their first doesn't have much value. No, no way. Oh, they have too many skaters. So, we have to take back a skater here. So, let's see. Stuff they want to give up. Let's get a second. Maybe a third and a skater. Hold on. We're going to maybe get a spot filler here. Let's see what they want to give up. I, I say that as I don't go to skaters matching block. Let's see what they want to give up. Anything I'm interested in. No, not really. Although, Sutter. They want to give up Sutter for some reason. He's a 28-year-old. 81, he should be pretty good defensively, although he's making quite a bit of money. Four years at that price, which we could def- Oh my, look at his defensive stats, though. Holy crap, this guy's the best third-line center ever. Oh, yeah, I know him, he's being paid a lot for four more years, but I don't think that's going to be a huge problem for us right now. We're going to be rebuilding. We're not going to have huge contracts, right, in, in the beginning. We'll have them, like, even if we get a bunch of amazing rookies this year, three years it's going to take for them to get their big contracts. I think we can, we can afford to pay Brandon Sutter like this. And he, I, he's someone that I think we could use in the future. He's 28, six years from now. Like, yeah, sure. Six years, he'll be, you know, 34 towards the end. But I'm thinking this rebuild, you know, maybe four years and we'll be like a super competitor. So I think this guy would be, could be usable in that time. And we could get him for a discount after his contract's up as well for another couple years or something like that. I think it'd be worth it. Now, I don't think I could get all this. If I want the second, I probably can't get Sutter in here. So I, that, that idea might be out the window. And you know what? I didn't want to actually take any roster players back from him in the end too I'm, I'm sorry i was thinking i saw that and i was i got freaking stars in my eyes so let's just get like a second and a third off of them maybe probably not they oh they sell yeah they have too many skaters so i actually i actually do need to take someone back unfortunately anyone that they're this just really shit no not really well they're shit but i mean yeah you know what i mean let's see just take someone back who met doesn't matter at all labate yeah one year left Okay, so Vanix for a second, third, and Lebate. Probably can't get the second and the third, but I'll try. Yeah, trade block. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's remove the third. Try to get a fourth in here. Just get a little something. Give me that fourth. I'm going to get something off these guys. If they're going to be a good team, I'm, I'm taking some of their shit. Uh, quite far off in value. Interesting. I, I don't think so. I don't think I am. I'll try a third and a fourth. Maybe, ooh. I kind of wanted that second, but if I have to settle for thirds and stuff, that's fine. Third, fourth, fifth. Yeah, LeBay and a bunch of picks. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try that. Yeah. Okay, so that will work. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Yeah, I, I do. I, I just want picks. I want so many picks because I, I think I could find some really cool shit in these drafts. We'll, we'll have to see, but I'm thinking I might be able to find some stuff. Or we could spread out some of these picks. Get some picks from next year. We are going to need some picks from next year. So hold on. Let me get a third and a fourth from this year. And then a third from next year, maybe. Probably can't get the third from next year. I'll try that, though. Two thirds and a fourth. Not quite. Okay. If I remove the fourth, can I get two thirds for this? I could definitely get two thirds for this. Um, so I'm going to try to downgrade that fourth a bit from this year. Not quite. Okay. I want those two thirds though. I know they're not excited about giving up, but I think I might be able to snag them. Nah, maybe not. Maybe straight up, but I don't think I can get much else. Nope. Okay. We're going through straight up two thirds. No. Okay. Interesting. They don't want to give up two thirds. Okay. So two thirds is out the window. So let's get maybe a four and a five from next year along with all that stuff. Yeah. We'll try that. 
A th third and a fourth from this year, then a four and a five from next year. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, I'll take that. I mean, that, that looks good enough to me. A lot of picks and stuff. Sure, they're not the greatest picks. The best we're going to get is third. But then again, Vanek was just signed as a free agent. So, take it a second off him. I'm not too worried about that. So, let's get that. Lebate doesn't matter. Roster moves. Okay. We are going to make a bit more uh, changes here. But that's all right. We, we Why do we have to bring someone up? No, we can just put someone in. We still have 18 guys here. What's the problem? Oh, Lebate. That's why. Get that guy out of here. All right, who do we want to bring? I'll bring up Bellamare or something. Yeah, we'll bring up Bellamare or something like that. Yeah, he's, he's solid enough defensively. Bring him up. There we go. Are we gonna be, are we losing morale now? Or, I mean, are, losing morale. Are we below the salary thing? I'm a little worried about that. Let's see, March or so. I guess we'll play him top line here with Neil. Yeah, all right. Put him up. Move up Perron since he was doing good. Let's move up Grabowski. And then put in... What's his name? Yeah, we'll do that real quick. Put in Bellamare. Now, we did... Yeah, we did lose a lot to the special teams, but it's not going to take too, too long. I'm actually going to move up Yager. No, no, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I'll, I'll keep Yager on the second unit. We're probably going to trade James Neal, too. Not right now, but in a bit. Do I want to put Tuck on the power play? Not really yet, no. Maybe Smith. Yeah, I'll put Smith on there. Some people are not happy. <laughs> I, I understand that. I can get that. I can get behind that. So bees, I'm going to take off. I'm going to put like Perron on here or something like that. Or, you know, I just want to get, let me get Took better. Let me get this guy better. Put him on the point. There we go. Okay. Uh, I think he's on the, oh, just the four, man. Okay, uh, James Neal and then Yager. Yeah. So we're probably going to trade James Neal in a bit as well. But I just want to, maybe not right now. Maybe I'll spread, like I said, I might want to spread him out a bit. Because I also am spending time on these lines, you know. <laughs> just uh, Neal and Yager for the extra attackers, I don't know. And then we might, we'll maybe be trading Yager too. Just because I want him to be on a competitive team. Not because I want to trade him, but like, if, I, I want to give that guy one last shot, you know? March or so, Shipshoff, Neil. I'll just put Smith in there. It doesn't really matter too much. Okay. Um, I'm going to best lines the AHL. Oh, shit. No, I can't do that. That's right. Yes, I can. Oh, they put in, Niederberger's good, but uh, and we want Godla in there. Hold on. I just want to make sure my other guys are where they should be. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's why. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have done that. That was my bad. I shouldn't have best lines that. So, hold on. Let me fix these. I'll cut this out. All right. So, I got the AHL back to the way it was before. Sorry about that. I, I totally forgot. I made a bunch of changes to, like, the bottom and stuff like that. Anyway. um, So, there we go. That's the first trade. We're going to sim a bit more here. Then, eventually, probably change trade away James Neal as well. And we're going to keep downgrading our team, basically. Some guys are going to get moved up and all that. And it's going to take a lot of line changes, stuff like that. But I just want to spread some of this stuff out. Give us give us more of a chance to check out the standings. Give us more of a chance to trade our guys to uh, places that may make sense. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's sim. Let's sim another month or so. Check out the uh, stats and everything like that. Yeah, we're just going to keep losing, most likely. Oh, yeah, big losses here. And uh, some people saying I can't trade Marc-Andre Fleury, so all right, I won't. I'll hold on to him, but poor guy, he's not having a good year. All right, scouting assignment. Okay. 20 guys here. Let's do a bunch of six weeks jobs for now. Oh, my goodness. I don't think we've won yet since we started. No, we haven't. Yeah, we are really tanking right now. Losing a lot of locker room chemistry. Oh, well. AHL team's not doing bad, so that's 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 a silver lining at least. We won a game in there in the shootout, and then we're losing some more. <laughs> 9 21 and 6. Rip. So, yeah, 10 21 and 6 now. Yeah. Let's see, we're not at the All-Star. Yeah, we are at the all Oh, they don't, they don't show the All-Star. Okay, there's no All-Star game anymore, guys. All right, so there's no All-Star game. <laughs> all right, that's gone. At least they don't, like, show it, so whatever. 
Okay, uh, Perron is actually leading us in points. It's hilarious. So, James Neal seems like he's slipping a bit. At least down the uh, point standings. I'm not going to worry about our uh, James Neal. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, everyone's falling. But Perron is actually our best production guy right now. So, James Neal, he needs a better team. He's got 15 goals on the season, 37 games in. Maybe we trade him to a uh, better team here. And we can move like Yager up or something like that and then use that for a while. Then maybe at the deadline ship off Yager. But yeah, maybe tra maybe time to trade away James Neal. It's, uh, he's not going to be, I mean, if we can hold on to him, but he won't be good like by the time we're ready, you know. And uh, we're not ready right now. This is his contract year. It's, it makes sense to trade him now. It doesn't make sense to like re-sign him. Or anything like that. Now I might not have to take back salary, so that's that's something we got to be aware of. We might have to take back some salary here because yeah. But that's all right. We'll be able to do that. Okay, so let's throw James Neal in here. Big trade right. We're getting at least a first for this guy. Let's see what kind of teams are interested. The Lightning are interested now. They're kind of a tweener team. They have a good team, but they might they will not be lacking some. The Sharks want him too. Now, this could be good. The Sharks are struggling. They want to get back on top of things. This could help them. Or if they fail, James Neal's still young enough to find a new team. You know what I mean? And uh, he would fit in really well to this. Look at this. He would fit in really well to this squad. I want to give him a chance, obviously. Let, let's go. Let's sort by overalls of forwards here. So, Pavelski, Cooch, right? And then let's take, that's like a first line. They got no one. Where's their left wingers? Jesus. Hopefully, they're using someone else on that left wing. I almost want to trade him a left winger, <laughs> but uh, maybe they'd use Neil on the left wing side on that first line. You never know. But uh, yeah, they're definitely struggling. I wish I could check their lines. But yeah, who's their left winger? They got no. Oh my god, they got no left wingers. Oh rip! You guys do LeBanc so dirty in this game. <laughs> Your red top nine. Okay, well, that's an that's what I'm thinking. Like an idea to trade him to this guy. Like he could improve him. Oh shit, yeah, that's the that's the one problem. There, that draft tech has way too much value. Yeah, I'd have to trade him to someone who's doing well. Yeah, unfortunate, because I, I want a first. I don't want anything less than a. <laughs> I can give him back to Nashville. All right, or okay, I could give him to the Canadians. They could use some more firepower. Well, not more wings. They could use centers. Let's see how they're doing for forwards here. Yeah, they, ooh, they actually they actually are lacking what, what looks like a right winger. So this could help them a lot. This could help them a lot. They might have two guys playing, you know, there. But, yeah, their center core is still weak as hell. But this could help them. They got Lekin and LeBlanc. I don't know why. I might want to pick. Uh, I don't think I could pick him up in this deal. 22-78 with top six potential. That's a lot of value. I don't think I could get him in a first. I'd love to, but... Hmm. I'd rather go for picks. I would ra much rather go for picks. So let's see. All right. So that's, yeah, that's pretty much even. There's no way I get like an in at first. And that's a pretty even trade. But since they want James Neal, I could probably get a bit more out of him. They got Chicago second, which is looking like Chicago's in that great team. There's no, I don't think this will go through. But let's try to get a first and a second for James Neal. What if? You know, what if? You never know. Yeah, not happening. Okay, that's fine. We get at least, I know we can get that first, but I'm going to try to squeeze these guys. Let's get a later second from, like, Washington if we can. Not quite. Okay, too far off is the value, they say. That's fine. Let's try to get a first and a third now. First and a third. Mm, oh, sweeten the value just a touch. Okay. All right, sweeten the value just a touch. Easy. Easy to do that. Okay, now we'll, we'll probably want to hold on to our seventh because it's going to be slightly better than Minnesota's. So let's try to throw in Minnesota's. That should sweeten the value just a touch. Kneel in a seventh for a first and a third. This is a very strong trade. Very strong trade. Oh, value just... Oh, oh, the trolls are back. Montreal. All. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't make a good name out of that. Let's see. Uh, I might have to go with a six. Damn. All right, well, let's trade away our six then. But if we're doing that, give me your seventh. Oh, I mean, don't give me your seventh. Give me a seventh from next year or something. I want something back. Give me that. <laughs> Sweeten the value just a touch. It's not, it wouldn't even be worth it. I'd rather just hold on. All right, let's just do the, yeah. Kneel in a six for a first and a third. That'll be worth it. There we go. And that will work. There we have it. Holla lost some morale. So we got to call someone else up. Everyone's losing morale. I understand that. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do at this point. So we could call up Lindbergh. 
who's a third liner, so it might be the yeah, it's the best time to call him up. He's got a bit of time in the AHL. He's got some points and stuff. Time to bring him up. Time to play him where he needs to be. See if we can get him any better. He's not amazing. He's more of a scorer type guy. So maybe I even play him there. But yeah, let's bring him up. AHL team's gonna suffer, but whatever. These first few years, it's they're just gonna be weird. You know, you don't have as many players as you technically need. So we gotta move up Yager, March or so, Shipashov and Yager. You know what? I might. This guy's a righty, huh? Well, he's on his runtime side. That might be why he's doing so good. So maybe I want to put what's his name? Holy shit! Oh, this guy's. It's this guy's morale must be terrible. Yeah, his morale is terrible. Let's move him up. Get his morale back up. Grubowski, I think this guy could score some goals. How's this? No, he can't really. I was thinking about putting him on his one-time side, but that's not going to work. All right, let's uh, let's put in the one guy, Lindbergh, here. Let's put him on the third line. Give him a one-time. I don't know why. He's got an okay shot. We'll put him on the one-time side. Does Howell have a better shot? No, Lindbergh's got a slightly better shot. So let's try this guy out. He's not amazing defensively, but he'll do. Tuck has grown. Okay, that's, yeah, that's growth, too. That's solid growth. Good. All right, good. All right, um, yeah, let me, let me fix these lines real quick. I don't think it'll take, ah, it might take long. All right, I'll cut this out too. All right, so got the lines taken care of. Here's where we are. Just keep downgrading ourselves. but good news, we got some growth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the, uh, <laughs> what, what are they called? I forget what they're called. <laughs> find the, uh, progress reports here. Let's see where they're at now. Progress reports. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to check out. Who's grown and stuff, if anyone's grown. Yeah, Tuck is grown. Yeah, I knew it. He grows 10 attributes have been modified. Pretty damn good. Only by ones and stuff. But hey, it's getting there. He's getting there. Yeah, I saw, and I gave him a bit more ice time in a couple places too. So he's on the penalty kill now too. See if we can improve that defense at all. Stuff like that. Just because he's growing, I want to see if he can get better. So in the system now, Sorella's grown. That's good. Reinhardt's also grown, which is amazing. Duke Colasar's grown. Roenberg. And he's just somewhere. So he's got top nine. He's, he's all right. Brandstrom. Yeah, some of these guys who are not quite on the uh, NH or AHL yet. And then the goalies haven't grown. Oh, Ferguson grew. This guy's no one, though. At least right now. So, yeah. There's the growth so far. So what we're going to do now is keep simming. Probably get to the deadline and then reassess from there. You guys can try to make me hold on to Yager as much as you want. <laughs> uh, I still think I might want to trade him to a competitor. Trade a few of these guys to competitors. Just like with the one year's one year left deals and stuff like that. But we'll keep going slow. Keep simming month by month. I won't check the progress reports until the deadline again. But I will check out the stats. See how a uh, team's doing. I gave Perron all, most of the places that... Uh, well, I moved Yager up then moved on on like special teams and stuff because he's been producing so well you know so i wanted you know i don't know rewarding his ice his efforts i guess but yeah we're still a bad team you we knew i mean we're making ourselves worse so <laughs> i'm not expecting to be a good team i'm just kind of i'm making conversation with myself oh poor mark andre Fleury's losing a lot of morale here three weeks here he'll take care of that ouch Yep, 12, oh, 13, 28, and 7. Let's hopefully we get a really good lottery position. <laughs> Let's hope EA doesn't screw me, which they probably will, because that's what EA loves to do. They're like, oh, you tanked real hard? Take this, uh, oh my god, only 34 points at this point in the season. That's our leading point. 49 games played. Oh, rip. Yager, though, he's at least going to get 20 goals before we... Well, maybe not before we trade him, but come on, Yager. Give me five more goals so you could trade you as a 20-goal score. Although, when we trade you, you'll easily become a 20-goal score. But yeah, a lot of minuses in there. A lot of minuses in there. Not too many point producers here. Not too many. Yeah, it doesn't look like Depre is going to grow, so we took a chance. <laughs> poor Flurry. Both the goalies are bad, but poor Flurry. Oh, uh, that's why I want to trade the guy. I might trade him next year. We'll have to see. If, we'll see if you guys allow me to. But my goodness, poor guy. He doesn't deserve this. He doesn't deserve this. Okay, let's keep it going here. We're going to get to the deadline here right before it. And then we'll re... Not reassess. I already know we're going to make some more trades here for sure. But we will think about who we're going to trade. What we could get. Where we can get it from. 
But I think mostly I just want to stock up on drafting. This might have to be a bit of a... We don't have... I mean, we don't have much of a system. So, I mean, yeah, sure, maybe we can pick up some other younger guys. But we already have a couple I'd rather draft. And, like, I'd rather just draft super, super heavy. Super heavy these years, you know? All right, I need... I, I do need to scout Canada. Like, I'm not just going to ignore... Okay, there's 16 guys here. I might cut this short and just do five weeks. I might do... I'm just going to do five weeks there. I just want... I want to min-max as much as possible. So, six... Like... I usually do like one week for every three players that I'm scouting. I don't even know if that's right, but that's just what I've been doing. And it seems to have worked out relatively well in the past. So that's what I do. All right, stop simulation. Just in case I messed up somehow. 1935 and seven at the deadline. Yeah, we're a re it's clear we're a rebuilder. That much is clear, but now we just got to decide who else to trade. Shipashov is leading us in points. Locker room chemistry is at 49%. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, dead last in the division. Vancouver's first in the fucking division somehow. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's so silly. With two games in hand against the next trailer. What the hell are you? How the hell are they that good? Whatever. Okay. Um. What was I thinking? Yeah, uh, basically who we're going to trade. Well, kind of already know who we're going to trade. Well, let's check it out anyway. Let's see who we can trade. Actually, what better option would be to see what kind of value they have. So if it would even be worth it to trade some of these guys. Eventually, we might we might run into the problem of like trading off too much salary. We're, we're in okay shape right now, but 12 mil deficit. Uh, not deficit, you know what I mean. 12 mil difference. It's, uh, it's starting to get there. So yeah. Mm. well basically yager yeah he's, he keeps losing value too so now's the time to trade him give him a give him a chance somewhere we can retain salary too if we want perron this guy i would i'm actually gonna i would actually rather hold on to perron since he's i know he's, he's still relatively young i could trade him but i'd rather hold on to him uh, Shipishov, we could trade him next year. He's still got one more year left, but Yager for sure can be traded. March or so we could hold on to. Maybe even trade Garrison in there. But some of these guys we just need to hold on to a bit. Yeah, fleury has got a tremendous value, but he has two years left. So next year will be the year we trade him. Maybe before he starts declining, before his value starts dropping off. That's that's That would be the goal if we are going to trade him. But yeah, Yager, I don't know what, what much we can get for this, but we can get a bit. We could definitely get a bit for Yager. So maybe like probably a second and a third or something like that. And a lot of teams are going to want this guy. Hey, man, let's give him let's give him the, the Leafs. No, I don't think he'll fit in. Well, he might fit in there. I don't know, but a lot of teams are going to want Yager. So, Yager, I think, is for sure. I want to trade him to a competitor. I want to give him a shot at a cup. Shipashov, we could trade next year. He's going to have some nice value. You could probably get a first for this guy. Perron, I, like I said, I might want to hold on to him a bit and sign him again and, like, use... Because he produced well for us, you know? He's, I kind of like the way he produced. So, I mean, maybe he could like, be a nice little spot filler for a while. Same with March or so. Garrison, we could throw in. Like, this guy I was thinking about, maybe we could throw in Garrison. Because 81 33, and maybe take back like some some kind of prospect deal. Like, or or I think we got some guys listed as depth in the defense, so we could bring those guys up. Yeah, like Miller, although he's pretty much looking like he's done growing, but I could give him a shot. He's got decent defensive stats. I'd rather give it to Theodore, though. So, yeah, I'll pull up Theodore for sure. Miller, secondary. If we could trade away another defenseman, then maybe, but. England's already in the AHL though, so yeah. Well, I think we're. It's the no, no, no. Yeah, we got Schmidt. That's right, we got Schmidt. Yeah, that's right. And then they they praise here. Yeah, that's right. So we'll bring up Theodore Miller. It's not a, a highest priority. He's super happy though. I mean, he might not grow too much more. He's already kind of capped. His defensive stats aren't super impressive, but maybe I can get a slight amount of growth out of him. You never know. Most likely not. So, I'll trade, maybe, pr probably throw Garrison into a deal, and then we could bring up Theodore. That, that's what I'm thinking. Trade Garrison, bring up Theodore. And then we still have plenty of other defensemen who can hop in there. So, that's what I'm thinking. Garrison and Yager 
All right, they got our going to be the trades here. Give them a chance to win somewhere. That's just my thoughts on it. I don't think anyone else we need to go right now. Mark Andre Fleury can wait. We can use Perron for a bit. Shipshoff can go next year. Um, yeah, that, that's just my thoughts on the matter right now. So let me know what you guys think. Anyone else that you think should be moved? And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, leave a like, of course, and uh, remind me about all these ideas. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.